the power that we have, the mandate we have, is given to us by the people. And currently, there seem to be widespread disenchantment on the streets. Uh, you don't have to go far to actually have a look. Uh, a lot of things in this country are not happening well, so I've decided that because of that, I've sort of felt our government has lost uh, its legitimacy. And uh, being in that cabinet, uh, you know, and ex extending my time in that cabinet would do me no good and also my people no good. So I've decided to resign from uh, uh, from the cabinet and I've decided to resign from the Maraparoso government. Um, like I said, the reasons are many. Um, institutions of states have been desecrated to a level where now uh, they just do, they sort of uh, no longer do their constitutional functions. They are instruments used by the masters who are in charge. And uh, I've realized that the political survival has actually become uh, you know, the most important thing today and not the interest of the nation. So at that uh, point, I think I've decided that I should resign from the government and maybe uh, my resignation is like a protest, open protest, and I hopefully uh, Prime Minister Marape uh, takes into consideration. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a couple others. Honorable Ryan Kramer himself has resigned yesterday, and hopefully those things should prompt him to actually take an active uh, look at the issues that uh, surround us, because obviously uh, the country is actually going down. There's a general uh, moral and societal decadence being, uh, you know, being observed today. Mediocrity, insanity, and tyranny are actually espoused and celebrated, you know, and when those things start to happen, you know that there's generally a moral uh, sort of decadence that's happening, and it's, if, if we allow these things to prolong any further, um, it would really, um, in a way, it would really <clears throat> destroy this country. So because of those things, we, uh, I decided to resign. And I, uh, of course, I take this opportunity to also thank the <coughs> Prime Minister for giving me an opportunity to be part of his cabinet. Uh, those are my opinions. He probably may have his own opinions. The government may have their own opinions on how they see things. Uh, it's up to them. Uh, for me, it was a moral one. Um, in 2019, we both joined the Marape uh, government. We were both appointed ministers. We were both in the opposition. And for me, the decision to support Marape at the time was because he, of his, I considered him a man of faith, uh, keeping the Sabbath, and believing that he would be guided in his decisions uh, by moral principles, Christian values, and in service of the Lord. And over the years, unfortunately, I got to see firsthand that he had lost his way. And decisions weren't being made on Christian values, moral principles. It appeared to be made on political convenience. And repeatedly, then as I've stated in, as a member of cabinet, I would, could see that decisions or submissions, bad submissions, were reckless, you know, um, that were being forced on the Prime Minister where he was sort of held to ransom and as a member of cabinet a few of us would always come to his defense and oppose some of these decisions that would be put aside um, by using our numbers as well and our voice in NEC. Uh, but over the years we just got to see that these bad submissions were being bulldozed through and we were playing our part to try and block them and it got to a point where even our concerns were being ignored. So after being out for two years and seeing firsthand and having been sitting in the highest office of this country or highest <coughs> institution NEC and then seeing many reckless decisions being made, uh, hundreds of millions of Kina public funds being spent uh, recklessly, misapplied, um, and seeing the state of our economy, price of goods going up, the level of viciousness in the community, human decency, fast deteriorating. Uh, our country is set on a pathway where it's a race to the bottom. And to be honest, I don't know whether we uh, will ever come back, given the challenges that we are now facing. So the only way it was to resign and basically take a position, and hopefully the government will take note, the Prime Minister, and start to correct some of those decisions. 
Um, so we haven't formally joined the opposition. As Dr. Lino said, it's a protest vote to come out of government, so we can no longer have that, our voices are heard within government. So now, from outside of government, we'll be able to raise these issues. I believe it's the only way that the Prime Minister and the government will start to listen when these decisions that we normally fight from within and kept quiet will then be made public.